Hello everyone, and thank you for checking out this Ghost Browser demo video. If you're here, you're probably interested in learning how to use multiple instances of Chrome extensions in Ghost Browser, and you may be interested in that because you want to be able to manage multiple Web3 wallets from the same browser window um, at the same time. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And we've achieved this capability through our multi-extension feature. So what the multi-extension feature does it is it allows you to use Ghost Browser's Identity Manager to run separate instances of any um, Web3 wallet or really any extension um, that we add to the list of compatible extensions. So currently we have support for Coinbase Wallet, Kepler, Math Wallet, MetaMask, Phantom, Polkadot.js, and Trust Wallet. If you have other extensions, whether they're crypto wallets or not, that you would like added, let us know. Just send us an email to support at ghostbrowser.com. Now, to use this feature, uh, first you have to turn it on. We turn it off by default because if you have this on by default and you have 30 different identities and you try to start the browser, it could choke um, if you're loading 30 instances. 30 is probably fine, 100 might not be. So, um, so when you, um, the easiest way to access this is when you create or edit, when you create a new identity, there's going to be a link right here. Um, and this link will bring you to the settings page. Okay, so to activate it, you simply turn on this option. Okay, and when you do that, these will be turned on by default, and we'll talk about those later. But the first thing I want to talk about, um, because you need to understand, you need to make a decision based on your own use case on how you want this to work. The multi-extension default behavior is that all identities will use the same instance as your default identity. Okay, so that means the that the feature isn't really turned on by default. And again, that's to avoid uh, potential performance issues when you're loading up the browser. However, if you know that you're going to be using Web3 wallets in all of your identities and you want them all to be separate, then I would recommend that you change this to enabled and then that would enable it for everything. Okay, so if you look here with the default identity setting, you can see that um, when you load the default identity, It's going to use um, the it's going to use the main extension uh, account that you have logged in with. Okay, so that's eight six six. Okay, so we connect it there, and then when we go to the blue identity and we try to load MetaMask there, nothing special happens. You're still logged in with this nine eight six six wallet. And the same will happen across all of your identities because that's the setting that you have selected. Okay, so for the magic to happen, what you want to do is come over here and you want to enable multi extension behavior for your identities. Okay, so if you do that and then you come back to this blue tab, you can see you're no longer connected because that extension instance is no longer associated with this blue identity. Okay, so when we try to connect now, now you'll have a different identity set up. And that's where the magic happens. So you can see now I'm logged in with this um, wallet that ends in uh, B3F. And you can see I'm properly logged in there. But if I go back here to the purple identity, then I'm still logged in with the 9866 ID. So that's, you would just simply repeat that process for all of these identities and create your wallets and um, log in using those wallets in these different identities. And I'll show you this one more time. And you can see I'm now logged in with this 102. Okay. Now there is um, a different way that you can manage this. If you want more granular controls over the extension instances, you can leave this 
so you, the other option is to leave um, the to leave the setting disabled. Okay, but then <clears throat> you can set override. So if you use 20 identities in Ghost Browser for non-crypto related tasks, but then you want three or four of your identities to manage different wallets, then I would recommend that you set this at the default, I'd set this to use the default identity. And then for each, once you do that, for each of the identities that you have set up, you can then override. Okay, and the way to do that is just by editing the identity, you'll see multi-extension overrides option here. And then you can configure that for this identity only, a separate instance of MetaMask will always be enabled. Okay, so you can see here in the orange identity, I now am connected with an account ending in C38. But if I go back to these, it will use the default behavior, which is to have me logged in with 866. And again, that 866 account is the same one that I have in my purple default identity. So the easiest way, if you're using Ghost Browser primarily for Web3 um, multi-accounting, you're going to want to just have it enabled for everything. But for more complex use cases, you might consider disabling it or using the default identity and then just doing overrides for specific um, uh, for specific um, identities. Okay. Now, two two more settings I want to show you. One, the first is that um, extensions will use proxies. So if you are logged into, if you are using proxies in Ghost Browser, and you can do that through uh, Ghost Proxy Control, um, if you set up, um, if you add proxies to Ghost Browser, then in each identity, you can come in and select for that identity, which proxy will be used. Okay. And once you've loaded proxies, your options will show here. Okay. Now, but the, the issue with MetaMask and other Chrome extensions is that they might use your default IP address. So um, if you're using proxies, then you're going to want to make sure that you keep this turned on so that all of the traffic that goes through your extensions will also use the proxies. Okay, there's if you're using proxies, there's really no reason to turn this off. If you're not using proxies, you can just ignore it. And then the last setting is clean toolbar. We set this up so that um, if you have, say, 15 different um, instances of MetaMask running, you don't really need 15 icons up here. Okay, so the clean toolbar option makes sure that you, you only see the extension that is um, instance that is active for that identity. So here you can see the MetaMask icon has a gray background. Here it has an orange background. Here it has a green background. Okay, now if we turn this setting off, you're going to have the option to show all of the instances at once. Okay. And you can, so here you can see that there's just the gray and the blue, but that's because um, those are the only identities that we've checked the, the pin for. If you add the pins for these, now you can see which ones you have. So this is a flexible way to give you access to whichever uh, ones you want. And this might be helpful because you might be working in an in an orange tab but you might want to see like check the address for a blue tab or something like that right so you can come back and, and check that real quick okay so uh that's the clean toolbar setting uh presumably this is, leaving this on is going to be best for most use cases but we've given you that flexibility otherwise Okay, so that those are the basics of how you use um, the multi extension feature to manage multiple accounts in uh, any web three applications at the same time. If you have any questions or want to know more, uh, please shoot us an email at support at ghostbrowser.com. Thanks.